I'm Megan Elrod, and this is Riley Ogles. She's five months old. And tell me what, what, what the procedure, what happened? Um, she was born with a diaphragmatic hernia, and so she had a hole in her diaphragm, and so her stomach, spleen, and intestines were in her chest. So what happened? So I was going to an anatomy scan at 18 weeks, and the doctor came in and he told me, something's wrong with your baby. I get emotional. <laughs> But um, he said she might not make it. That she had a 50% chance to live. And that he wanted me to go to Atlanta to have her. And that was so far away. And well, we went, we had, you know, we met with the doctors and everything. Well, I got put in um, at Erlinger a month <coughs> before I had her. And I was admitted for the whole month because she was trying to come early. And then I had all these doctors, Dr. Koontz, he was one of them. He came and talked to me, assured me she would be okay here. So I decided to stay. And I don't regret my decision at all. The doctors here at Children's Hospital, they saved your life. Yes, they saved her life. They, um, everybody was so great. Um, they treated us like we were the only ones here. They, I had doctors and nurses calling just to check on me. You know, they put us in the Ronald McDonald house even though we weren't that far away from her. They put us there so we could be closer to her because she, they didn't think she was going to make it. But they, they had nurses and doctors work and didn't, they didn't take breaks. They worked around the clock to make sure she was, to make sure she was okay. When I was pregnant, they told me to, that I really needed to consider going out of town to have her. But Dr. Koontz made me feel, he made me feel really good about staying here. He, you know, he gave me a lot of hope, and so I put my trust in them, and I don't regret it at all. So fast forward to today. She's five months old, and she's thriving. She has the feeding tube, but... It's not going to be, be for life. And she'll have normal development? Yep. She's doing everything a five-month-old should do. And she loves her older sister. She loves her older sisters, yep. She, um, they kind of scare her because they're loud. <laughs> but she's been through it, and she, you, you would never know. She's, she's so happy all the time. I think she's lucky because she's got an incredible mom, too. I try. You believed in the doctors in this area. You believed in the children's hospital. You yeah. believed in these surgeons. That, I that, did. That, that takes a lot for, for, for... I put my daughter in their hands, and I don't regret it. I will always be thankful for Erlinger.